All right, little update on the days leading up to this weekend where I'm gonna try and paint. I have a few things I need to do. Um, so, you know, last video, uh, I installed these windows. Um, but what I came back to do is, um, I went back up and fixed the seams on the roof um, just because when I did them last time, um, I was, you know, running away from the rain. Um, but, you know, it did start to rain while they were still wet and there were a few areas where they, I guess, did cracked because of that or something like that. Um, but I just went up and fixed them all. Like, I, I literally, I did thin layer on every single one again. Let me close this. Um, so I did that yesterday. Um, that took a while. And then I went through and just now, um, I did a quick bit of um, self etching primer because this is a metal so most paint won't stick perfectly to that this is galvanized steel which paint does stick to better but um, i still sanded it and i'm gonna put a little bit of self etching primer on it um, but i went through around the seams away from the windows right now undid that first because i'm gonna go through and put seam sealer on all the seams as well that you know i broke um, when doing the install um so i put seam sealer there um, which is why I'm just putting some paint on now. I'm going to go through and re-prime um, everything, but I'm going to need to take the windows out to do that. And so I'll do that the day before I paint, because I'll just take the windows out and leave them out. Um, and then the other thing is the seal on this back door um, used to be one that would sit on the outside and have like an overhang lip like this by like you know, half an inch, and it would close. But it was really old, 20 years old, sun rotten, Oh, sorry dry rot from the sun and then it was split down here looked real ugly um was stretched out wasn't really sealing correctly um it took me a very long time to find a seal that would fit um finding parts for these are tricky in the sense that um finding parts for the bus in general is tricky um because there's not many people you can just call and even like the international dealers like they seem to even be guessing um so I signed up for something that only dealers are supposed to get access to, but they don't ask for like a business ID or anything. But I'm able to put my VIN number in, and then the part list will come up for the vehicle. But even then, finding the part on there that you need, the part number is very tricky. But I ended up finding a few different part numbers, searching them, um, and then I kind of narrowed it down to one after I found dimensions. And so I ended up actually getting a new seal. Um, and so. I took the old seal off. Um, it fits into this channel and uh, flips out. But I'm going to go through and sand the edges, clean them up. Um, that way when I paint, I can just paint right up to the edges. And then I'll put the new seal on. That way I don't ever have to worry about, you know, the old seal, you know, loosening. And then me seeing orange under it. I'd much rather be able to take the seam, um, the, keep saying seam, the gasket off paint and then once it's done drying I can put the gasket back on um, and I'll be ready to go um, so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sand this right now um, other things I need to do I still need to come through which I'll probably do tomorrow in any of the rusty spots um, hit with the um, rust converter so I got around the wheel wells I took the um, whatever you call that fender thing off um, and so I'm gonna treat all the rust underneath all the wheel wells and then there's rivets on the roof that are rusty. I'm gonna treat all of those um, for rust as well. Um, and then those are the really only rusty parts in the bus I'm gonna treat before paint. You know, there's other rusty spots like here. Um, I'm gonna treat that, but that's not, that doesn't need to be done before paint. Um, so not a top priority for me right now. Um, and then around all the little feet up there for the solar, um, there's lots of butyl tape squeeze out, so I'm gonna trim all that up and then for paint and then once i paint and the paint is dried i might put lap sealant self-leveling lap sealant over each of the feet um just in case for if it leaks or whatnot and that was always the plan um but yeah i'm just gonna start sanding this now um get that done and then see what else i have time for today we'll see if i'm able to get any some any sealer um on these edges here we'll see how um, quickly I can do that before the sun sets after work, you know, I get here and it's already 637 so I don't have a ton of time um, to do all this But 
this was me this was me testing out the um, spray can for the self etching primer this is aluminum um, but can't do it all because again I have the window here don't want to get spray paint on my w new windows so once the window comes off I'll do all that um, and yeah so I'm gonna get to some more sanding um, to be honest I'm so tired of sanding I think I've been sanding for two weeks straight all right, it's the second to last day of painting prep. Um, it's Wednesday. I'm going to start painting on Friday. Um, so, still have a lot to get done. Um, but the main thing I'm going to try to do today is I got the ru this rust converter that I am um, going to use to try and fix the rusty spot. So, I'm going to use it on the wheel wells I have here. Um, and then the rusty rivets that are on the roof. That's really the main things. Um, there's a couple rusty places under the bus that, um, like where the tow hooks are that I'll treat, but that's gonna be another time. That doesn't need to be done um, before painting. Um, so, yes, I'm going to try and get that done today just because this needs a good um, 24 to 48 hours. Um, it says um, it, it wants to cure. Um, Technically it says dry at 20 minutes, so I'm not quite sure the whole curing thing. Um, if I get it on now, it'll be on for about 40 hours, not 48. Um, it'll be fine, um, but I just want to um, get it on um, now, so. I've never used this stuff before, so. Not sure uh, how it how it handles, but I mean, it, it, it feels like a real soft liquid, um, but it just says brush it on. And there's nothing really to it. It's just a shake well and then brush on. So I got a little like $1 pan here that uh, I'm gonna pour it into. Um, and then, yeah, should be good. says it dries black. Um, but yep, let's see. This should go through just, I'm gonna just go through, whisk brush them all real quick. All right, let's see how this stuff uh, goes. I'm gonna brush it on and then for, to the wheel, the ones on the wheel well. And then I will um, go up on the roof, do the rivets, and then by the time I'm done with all the rivets, I should um, be able to come back and do a second coat on these. This is real liquidy. Not really sure what I expected from being honest, but wasn't didn't expect it to be this this wet. But I'm applying it very thick. No rust for me, no thank you. All right, now I'm gonna just go do that on all the wheel wells. Um, and that's going to be the main thing I'm trying to get done today. If I have some more time, I'll do a little bit other um, things. But um, yeah, until tomorrow. All right, it's paint day. I, I look like a mess because I've been working and painting out here. Um, it's been, I've been doing a lot trying to get ready to this point. Um, last night I was up till 11 outside working, doing more stuff on the bus to get it ready. Probably have black dots over me because I started painting, but today I got to the bus at like nine because I was loading stuff up at my house. Um, at my house I was getting like the air compressor, putting it in the bus um, and stuff like that. Um, and then, yeah, load all up, got here at nine. I actually just got to start painting like um, an hour and a half ago, um, just because I've been having to um, mask everything off. And so this is what it looks like right now. 
Um, as you can see, everything is masked. Um, and so today I'm doing these rails on the side black. And then that way, um, tomorrow I'll just be able to tape off the rails. Um, but I put the first coat on. Um, as you can see, you can still see some um, color through that, yellow, orange, whatever you want to call it, through that. Um, but that's just because in the instructions say put on a light coat first and then come back and clean it all up. So I was able to do um, my both of my um, bumpers front and back and then both sides um, with a nice even coat, um, first light one. And so I'm gonna probably get to painting um, this next coat starting here soon. Um, see there's other ones that need more paint uh, for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start doing that now. Um, so this, doing all this took about a gallon um, and I only have one gallon of black left. Um, so I just need to uh, make sure I get everything covered. Um, I only bought two gallons for these um, the black ones and I have like 11 gallons for everything else. Um, so we'll see um, how that goes. Um, but yeah, this is it. Um, I'm going to start preparing the second gallon and start spraying. Um, again, I'm doing a bed liner type paint. So I don't know if you can see all the, the texture that's in this paint. Um, but this paint's supposed to be incredibly strong. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's ready for me to start doing the second coat. So I'm going to start doing that now. Yeah, right, I'm going to start doing that now. Getting that ready. But this is Durabac. Um, kind of expensive, but um, I looked up ratings and reviews of all different types of bed liners and people who've done um, tests on all of them. And this one comes out on top. Um, and so I never plan on repainting the bus. Um, and if I was going to repaint it and I did this check texture, that would be a pain. So this will be good. All right, I need to record more tomorrow, which is the plan. Um, today was really just, you know, trial. Um, but I got the black stripes painted. Um, so this is uh, how they look. I'm happy with how they turned out. Um, they're still drying. So. Um, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to come through and I'm going to tape all of these now, the rails, um, so I can paint everything else. Again, hopefully if it doesn't rain um, for the thing. Um, but yeah, here, here it all is. I'm very, very happy with it. Stopped recording. Yeah, very happy with it. The fresh black makes it look so much, I mean, it looks like a mess right now. I mean, look at it, but it makes it look so much cleaner already. Just not the zebra black going down the side like from before. <clears throat> Let's hope I never have to remove these rivets because they're, uh, they're never coming out. We got to get the remaining plastic off the roof. Um, and then start painting uh, tomorrow. I got a lot to uh, clean up here though. And I need to go home, clean the gun, the spray gun, just so it doesn't um, get stuck and it continues working. Here are my two bumpers. Got a nice texture going on. And then I, I treated all the rust on these bumpers um, before I sprayed them. So these should be rust free. All right, looks like we're not doing the rest of the bus this weekend. Um, what happened was um, I painted the black stripes like you saw. Um, and then the, the next day, which is today, I woke up 
real early to come and mask all this off so I can paint it. The issue is absolutely nothing sticks to this. Um, I got, I tried uh, the normal blues painter tape. I tried the green painter's tape, which I think the green one is called rough surfaces. I tried the yellow one, which is made for, is for outdoor use. Um, I tried the gray one, which is for commercial use. I tried um, a foil tape, because so I could like mold it around there. It wouldn't stick. I tried duct tape. It wouldn't stick. I am now trying um, Gorilla Tape, but these are both extra strengths. Like this is like an extra strength Gorilla Tape, and look, it's already like looks like it's already becoming falling off a bit. But this is actually working way better than the other stuff. So this is extra strength Gorilla Tape. Yeah, it's coming off pretty easily, but still staying on better than the other stuff. And then this is extra strength, um, like 3M tape. And so it's, 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 it's called double adhesive. And this looks like it's actually gripping it a bit. But, um, so, I'll probably end up going with this to mask all this off. And yeah, I know we usually don't use like duct tape or whatnot, but I don't really have another option. Um, the issue is also it's now 3 o'clock. I've been to Home Depot four different times. Um, and I don't have time to mask all this off and then spray paint, so um, it looks like we are kind of just not going to finish today. Um, and so now this is going to be put off till next week. The issue is, yeah, that actually looks like it's sticking now, this, this tape. So it looks like I might have found finally some tape to use. I've spent over a hundred dollars just on tape, trying different tapes. See, this one's actually coming off. This is the Gorilla Tape, so go even Gorilla Tape comes off. Um, this 3M tape looks to be um, the one. Spent over a hundred dollars on tape, and just trying to figure out one that would work um, on this. This is almost like it's textured, but also like almost has like a oily on it. I don't even know how to describe it, but yeah, absolutely nothing sticks to it. Um, here's all like a bunch of tape. I've picked up most of it, but you know, I put it up and then within 10, 20 minutes before I could finish the next, the next one, the, the last one was just completely fallen off. Um, and so you're supposed to do multiple coats of the paint. So this doesn't even look like the right color, um, just cause the back color is bleeding through but I opened one of them was thinking about okay well maybe then I'll just brush it um, and roll it uh, but I put it on here and to be honest I didn't like the texture that it came out with um, with rolling it and using a brush on the edges just really really didn't like the looks of this so um, knew I had to find a way to spray paint it and so hopefully that tape is the answer to that um, but yeah I mean now I just gotta you know pick everything up and just call it for really the week which is a huge bummer to be honest um, the gallon I opened since you can't save it I just smeared it on the roof um, but yeah uh, I started masking all this off but what can you do? Because it's gonna sit for like a week, I'm probably gonna cover the windows in masking tape, um, just in case it rains. But yeah, real, real bummer. Well, until until next week again. All right, so it's Sunday. I got the first coat on the bus yesterday. Um, I was hoping to do the whole second coat and everything as well, but it just wasn't time. It took me from 7 a.m. to like 1 p.m. just to tape everything off um, so I could, you know, start painting it. And then spraying it actually takes a long time. It's um, because of the consistency of the paint I'm using. I have to use an undercarriage gun versus, you know, a normal spray gun. Um, so 
it just takes a lot longer to use um but i'm gonna go through and do a second coat now and really try and get all the paint underneath covered up um the first coat as you can see goes on very light um and that's just to um get some well adhesion to it um but yeah i'm not really recording much of the painting um it's not very interesting to be honest just spraying it um for hours and hours and because the paint i'm using once a can is opened i have about two to three hours to work with it um, it starts hardening quicker than that to be honest um my spray gun can use about uh a third of the can at a time maybe a bit more um but yeah when i gotta do that quick when i run out i need to you know get some new paint in it really quick and before it starts hardening inside the gun and so just a lot to do and then also try and move the camera around to manage it um so i'm just trying to you know get this painted as quick as possible so i'm not really trying to record it all too much right now um i'll definitely record some more show show the finished product and everything but this is where i'm at now um i just came to start painting it right now but because it's early morning there's some dew on it so i need to wait for it, everything to you know completely dry before i can go and start painting some more so um yeah but i'm gonna go keep going all right it is the next week I have actually um, got my bus painted um, last weekend. Um, what I did this weekend was I basically just um, did some touch up around the corners just because when I sprayed the paint, um, and when you spray it, you can't get on all the nooks and crannies and whatnot. Um, so I had touched up today, as well as, um, like I already said, I was using what you call Duraback, which is a bed liner of sorts. Um, this is a really strong one. Um, there's many reviews of it um, that list this as like the number one. Um, people have tested all of them. Um, they list this as the number one. It's used by the United States um, Navy and everything. So um, I went with it. It was a little bit pricier, but hey, if it lasts longer, um, I'll be happy. Um, but I went with the textured version just because I like the looks of it. It makes it look more rough and rugged. But like I said, I was doing two different colors, um, desert sand color and um, black uh, for just black accents. And so I painted the black accents first, but nothing, no tape would stick to it once painted, um, the textured. Um, it was textured and a bit oily, so no tape would stick to it. Um, so basically, um, where I tried to get all the painting done in one weekend, I was unable to just because, you know, I went to Home Depot like two or three different times in auto parts store, purchasing basically one of every single tape they had in, in uh, the store, probably spent around $300 worth on just tape I was trying to see what would stick. Um, I ended up finding a double adhesive um, Gorilla Tape made by 3M um, that stuck enough didn't stick anywhere near what you would think um, a double adhesive Gorilla Tape would stick, um, but it stuck enough that I was able to use that to um, mask off um, the black that I had already painted. Um, the other issue came in which caused me to have to do more touch up was, um, you're supposed to spray, um, let it dry about two hours, do the second coat and then take off the um, your masking tape, or my case, um, double adhesive Gorilla Tape. Um, but because I'm spraying such a large vehicle, most people, this is just made for spraying one color. So for one, you're not masking off much. Um, or you're just spraying just a John bow, or you're spraying just the bed of your truck. Um, I had a ton of masking tape around the windows, um, around all the black. It just, there was so much to do. I couldn't do two coats in a day. Um, so basically I did with the whole bus uh, with masking and everything and painting it. It took a whole day for that. Um, so basically it 
sat and dried for about probably six hours before you know wake up the early the next morning come out and apply the second coat um, so that paint had really hardened uh, more than I'd like so when I took it off um, it wasn't as clean of lines um, it still came off really well it's not like it tore sheets off just I could see a tiny bit of yellow underneath in some places so I caused it more go and touch up but touching up was awful um, this stuff is basically like painting with rubber. Um, I describe it as trying to edge with Elmer's glue. Um, that is like the consistency that I'm dealing with, trying to edge everything. Um, it's nothing against the product in any way, just it is what it is. Um, and so um, if you're ever going to paint with it, I'd 100% recommend spraying it on versus rolling or anything. Um, or brushing, like trying to br brush the edges is just awful. Um, you know, if you're not trying to do fine edging, like I did around the doors with the paintbrush, perfectly fine, um, no big deal at all. But if you're trying to like edge around a window or whatnot, awful. It's not not fun at all. Um, but overall, you know, it went pretty well. I had a big air compressor in the bus, a generator outside, and just had everything going. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'll show you what it looks like. I got all the windows back in. Um, I took the masking tape off. I actually still have some masking tape up on the roof I need to take off. I forgot about that. So I'll probably do that um, a bit later. Um, but yeah, let's go. I'll go show you all what it looks like. Uh, the bus is still a mess just because I haven't picked it up since painting and I had a lot of stuff out um, for painting, basically. Um, and so the bus is just a wreck. But here we go. So that's a bus, really happy with how it turned out. If you look at different spots and see these lighter patches, it's where I touched up. Um, it gets to the darker color after about a couple, probably two or three days of drying is when it actually gets to this color. Um, so yeah, I'm not putting it on the back bumper yet just cause um, there's a bit of rust here. It's really, this is only the rusty part on the whole bottom. So I might treat that. And then I'm also trying to figure out the bumper here. So not putting the, Sorry, to figure out the hitch. Not putting the bumper back on until after I do the hitch just because it's a pain to take on and off. Like, awful, so don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, so this is it. I also got a, ba a lock on the back door now. Um, I'll show that. I didn't videotape the process, but I can make a small video just to show how I did it. I'm still trying to figure out a way to lock this door. Um, but yeah, this is the bus. Um, I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, I still got to take the tape off of the um, brackets up on the roof for the solar, but overall, um, very happy with how this turned out. Like I said, um, this was a pain to, to mask off and, you know, looking at it, it's not perfect, the masking, um, just because of the type I was using, it couldn't sit perfectly flat on it with this texture. Uh, I mean, just, I don't know if you can see, but look how textured this is. Um, but overall, very happy with it. It's my, my door, everything's back on. The front of the bus. The bumpers were painted with the black version of this. And this side. Let me tell you. It was not fun being out in the Florida heat for basically three days straight doing this. Um, and again, one day was taken up completely with just trying to find different tapes to use. I would basically mask off a whole side 
and then I'd go start doing the other side and the gusts of wind would come I come over and the whole the whole side is off so I just blown right off I also got a new um, rubber piece for this door that goes all the way around the other one was dry rotted and it was completely split here um, so got put a new one on that was a beast to put on um, it did basically we get it on one screwdriver head at a time, but it's on, got all the LED lights back on. I'm also gonna replace these lights um, with some LED ones. Um, the only ones I see really are the options that fit this profile with the, cause they have to have a um, license plate light on it. They're like 40 bucks a piece. Not a huge fan of that if I'm being honest, but um, I switched everything to LEDs except these now. So it might just be um, what I have to do here. Um, again, this paint isn't really cheap and I want to have some paint to um, touch it up if stuff ever does happen. You know, this is rugged and it's, you know, shouldn't come off easy, but you know, big massive tree branch, maybe some will come off. So I put some of the flat paint on this here and I'm gonna take this to Sherwin-Williams and see if they can give me some small bottles, the uh, color match and get me some small bottles of that paint um, so that I can have some for touch up. Just cause the polyurethane paint, if you have it in the large bottles, when you open it, you know, they say you got three, four hours of working time. No, you, you got, you got an hour and a half of good working time and two, two to two and a half hours of, you know, working time max. Um, yeah, it's, unless you, you want to paint with just, I'm gonna be honest, you can't do it. You really just can't. Um, so I'm gonna go and see, hopefully I can find some that I can, you know, put in some small bottles and just have on the bus for touch up. Um, cause again, the gallons open it, it's all dry within a couple hours. So a, and for a hundred bucks a gallon, it's just, I can't be buying gallons of it when I need to touch up a small little piece like that. Um, but the good thing about it is this bus, because it's all jag, uh, the rough version and whatnot, it's a pretty flat color. Um, touching it up, you really can't tell once the paint dries that you've touched it up in an area. So, um, that's really good. Uh, and it's a battle of rain, so I am probably going to end this here. And I will show the lock in the back door um, another time. Um, but yeah, good stuff. This was a huge project, probably one of the biggest projects I've done in the sense that once I started the project and the project starting as of literally just sanding, um, I just had to get done, otherwise I suffered rust. And so this is probably one of the the biggest and worst projects, hardest projects um, for this whole build. Hanging the sheet metal, easy compared to the whole painting process um, of sanding and painting itself, but happy to be done, happy with how it, it turned out, um, happy with the, the Durabac paint I picked out as well. Um, the company, customer service is great, um, cause I did have a few questions for them. Um, you know, I wish they, they knew I was doing two different colors. I wish they told me how hard it would have been. To, it was going to be the tape um, it because I talked to them multiple times about it and they never mentioned that, but whatever. Um, but yeah, just, I, I, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I was worried about it for a little bit with everything going on, but uh, it turned out just how I wanted it. Colors, color how I wanted it and everything. So good stuff. Okay, we're doing taping here, getting ready to paint today. The black rails are painted in the super durable bed liner. And then the rest of the bus is going to be, what, desert sand you say, Nicholas? Desert sand. Desert sand. Or really just sand. But... So it's going to look like an army vehicle by the end of today. Progress. And the last side of the bus, the back, and the 
driver's side. It's all got its first coat on. Final section of second coat. the second coat today, throwing in those little gaps, looking good. 